The Sharks take on the Capitals, 12.30 Eastern puck drop in the nation's capital. Washington's minus 240, total 6.5. We saw a 10-cent move toward Washington in the early wagering. They open 2.30, up to minus 240, total 6.5. 73% of the consensus are leaning toward Washington, 57% shaded toward the over. Right now, San Jose is plus 205 on the money line, Washington plus 105 on the puck line. We have Holtby for the Capitals, Martin Jones for the Sharks. Jones comes into this game with a 13-15 and record, 313 goals against, and an 893 save percentage. Meanwhile, Braden Holtby on the other side, 17-7 and on the year, 299 goals against, 902 save percentage. Washington is 11 4 and 4 at home, top 5 in scoring. Alex Ovechkin, 24 goals on the year, 16 assists, 40 points total. John Carlson, 51 points on the year, 38 assists. Carlson is plus 15 when he's on the ice. Washington ranks in the top 10 in shots allowed, and they are 28 9 and 5 overall for the year. Now, San Jose on the other side, keep in mind they are playing uh, basically a hockey game at 9 30 in the morning. That's right, this West Coast team coming over to the East Coast playing a 12 30 Eastern uh, game. So, uh, very early for the Sharks. They're just 8 10 and 2 on the road, 9 and 11 against the spread in those games. They rank in the bottom three in road scoring, bottom 10 in goals allowed. Now, total-wise, we're looking at a Washington team who's 13-6 and six of the over on their home ice. I'm going to lean Washington minus 1.5 and, and the over 6.5 in that contest. Next game, Panthers taking on the Penguins, 5 o'clock Pittsburgh. The Pens are minus 160, total 6.5. We saw a nickel move toward Pittsburgh and movement upward on the total. The Penguins open a buck 55, up to 160. Total open six, up to six and a half. 56% leaning toward Florida, 61% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Panthers are plus 140 on the money line. Pittsburgh plus a buck 65, laying the goal and a half. We have Tristan Jerry for the Pens, Chris Dreger for the Panthers. Dreger's 3 1 1 on the year, 200 goals against, 938 save percentage. Florida ranks at the top five in scoring, top uh, top ten in offensive shots. Really doing a, a good job, you know, lighting up that scoreboard. Huberto and Dadanoff, 17 goals apiece for those guys. Uh, Huberto's plus 12 on the year. Meanwhile, Alex Barkoff, 33 assists on the year, 46 points. He is plus six when he is on the ice. Now, Florida is six and three straight up in their last nine. They have outright victories against the likes of Montreal, Carolina, and Dallas. Meanwhile, the Penguins on the other side, just 10 and 13 against the spread at home. And of course, when I refer to the spread in the NHL, I'm referring to the puck line. Uh, so once again, I know it's an expensive price for Pittsburgh. So if you're thinking about laying the goal and a half, just keep in mind out of their 23 games at home, they've successfully covered the puck line in just 10 of them. They also have outright losses to the likes of San Jose and Vancouver within their last 10 games. So they've been playing some very good uh, hockey as of late. Uh, but those are a couple of factors that may not play into your hands. I think we're going to see a lot of puck line action because of that expensive money line price. Now, total wise, Florida is 27 and 14 to the over on the year, 11 and 8 to the over when traveling. I'm actually going to lean Florida Panthers plus one and a half in the over, six and a half in that contest. Next game, Lightning taking on the Hurricanes, five o'clock Eastern puck drop in Carolina. The Hurricanes are a buck and a quarter, total six and a half. We saw a nickel move toward Carolina and movement upward on the total. The Hurricanes open a buck 20, up to minus 125. Total open six, up to six and a half. 56% are leaning Carolina, 64% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Lightning are plus 105 on the money line. Carolina plus a buck 80 on the puck line. We have Peter Morazic for the Canes, Andre Vasilevsky for the Lightning. Now, Morazic 16 9 and 2 on the year, 272 goals against, 901 save percentage. Carolina ranks in the top 10 in scoring, top three in offensive shots. They're also 12 and 7 straight up at home, 24 15 and 2 overall for the year. Uh, Tuvo Teravanen, 13, uh, 33 assists, 41 points. He is plus 14 on the season. Of course, Dougie Hamilton, 13 goals on the year, 24 assists. He is plus 30 when he is on the ice. Absolutely unbelievable. And of course, can't forget about Sebastian Ajo, 23 goals on the year, 14 assists, 37 points. Ajo is plus 10 when he's on the ice. Now, we're looking at a Carolina squad who has outright marquee wins against the lights of Montreal, Washington, and Colorado within their last 10 matchups. They rank at the top 10 in goals allowed, top three in shots allowed. Now, Tampa Bay on the other side, 
just 7-12 and 12 against the spread on the road. They rank the bottom 10 in offensive shots on the road, 21st in shots allowed on the road. And when it comes to this total, Tampa is 25-15 and 15 to the over on the year. So I'm going to lean toward the home chalk in this one. Give me Carolina, minus 125, and the over 6.5 in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for Sunday's NHL action. But before we dive into some more of that, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash rockpage, where we are currently 4-0 in our last four daily best plays on that website. We do daily premium sports picks on that site, beginning at just $1.99 per month. We also have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. And if you want to check out my current record, you can do that for free right now. My record is right on the homepage, and the link for that website is in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash rockpage. All right, let's go ahead and get into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Flames taking on the Minnesota Wild. 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Minnesota. The Flames are the $1.15 favorite on the road. Total at 6. We saw a $0.15 cent move toward Calgary in the early wagering. Once again, they are minus $1.15. Totals at 6. 53% are leaning Minnesota. 57% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Wild are minus 105 on the money line. Calgary plus 230 on the puck line. We have David Riddick for the Flames, Alex Stalock for Minnesota. Stalock's 9-6-1 on the year, 901 save percentage. Minnesota's pretty good at home, 11-4-3 at home. They have outright victories against the likes of Colorado, Arizona, and Philadelphia within their last 10 games. They also rank in the top 10 in shots allowed at home. Eric Stahl is leading the charge, 16 goals on the year, 17 assists. Zach Paris, 14 goals on the year, 11 assists, 25 points. Meanwhile, Calgary, winners in just three out of their last nine games. They lost to Chicago and Vancouver during that stretch. They ranked the bottom 10 in scoring, bottom 10 in shots allowed. Now, total-wise, Calgary's 16-6 and six to the under when traveling. I'm going to lean Minnesota, minus 105, and the under, six goals in that contest. Next game, Red Wings taking on the Blackhawks, 7:30 Chicago. The Blackhawks are the $2.05 favorite, total at 6.5. We did see a nickel move towards Chicago. The Blackhawks open $2 up to minus 205, total 6.5. 74% are leaning Chicago, 55% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Red Wings are plus 175 on the money line. Chicago plus a buck 15 on the puck line. We have Corey Crawford for the Blackhawks, Jimmy Howard for Detroit. Jimmy Howard is just 2 and 13 on the year, 4 11 goals against. 884 save percentage. Meanwhile, Corey Crawford on the other side, 905 save percentage. Chicago's 3 and 1 straight up in their last four, 6 and 3 straight up in their last nine. They have outright victories against the likes of Calgary, New York Islanders, and Colorado. Patrick Kane, 24 goals on the year, 53 points. And Jonathan Taze, 10 goals on the year, 20 assists, 30 total points for the Blackhawks. Now, Detroit on the other side, they are one of those all-time bad teams, losers in seven out of their last eight. They're also just four, 15, and two on the road. They rank dead last in scoring, dead last in goals allowed. Total-wise, Detroit 25 and 17 to the over on the year. I'm going to lean Chicago minus one and a half in the over, six and a half in that contest. All right, next and final matchup for the show, it is going to be Predators taking on the Ducks. 10 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Anaheim. Nashville's minus a buck and a quarter, totals five and a half. We did see a 10 cent fade of Nashville in the early wagering. The Preds open 135 down to minus 125, totals five and a half. 63% are leaning Nashville, 84% shaded toward the over. Right now, Anaheim's plus 105 on the money line, Nashville plus 195 on the puck line. Soros for the Preds, Gibson for the Ducks. Gibson's coming into this game with a 293 goals against and a 907 save percentage. The Ducks rank in the top 10 in goals allowed. They also have victories against Vegas, Islanders, and Rangers within their last 10 games. Jake Silverberg, 15 goals on the year, 13 assists. And Adam Henrique, 12 goals on the season, 21 points. This Anaheim squad is 10-7-3 on their home ice. Now the Predators on the other side, losers in three out of their last four. They also rank in the bottom 10 in goals allowed. They're 14-5 uh, fourteen and five to the over when traveling. I'm going to lean toward the home dog in this one. Give me Anaheim, plus 105, 
and the over five and a half in that game. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our quick pick recap. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are currently 4-0 in our last four daily best plays on that website. I like Anaheim plus 105 over five and a half. Chicago minus one and a half over six and a hook. Minnesota minus 105 under six goals. Carolina minus 125 over six and a half. Florida plus one and a half over six and a hook. And last but certainly not least, I like Washington minus one and a half in the over six and a half in that game. 